It smells really like a burger. Hi, I'm a burger. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Bunny China. China. Today we're talking about something I'm super excited what? about imitation meat. I know that a lot of prices are inflating. Yes, uh, sure. Meat prices are inflating uh, because of disruptions in the supply chain yeah. as well as overconsumption of meat. So I've been following two companies mm -hmm. quite closely. Mm -hmm. One is called Beyond Meat mm -hmm. and then the other one is called Impossible Foods. How long have they been around? Beyond, Beyond Meat? So Beyond Meat, they've been around since 2009, mm -hmm. so about 11 years now. Mm -hmm. These bigger brands are looking into alternatives to mm -hmm. meat. And of course, it's not saying they're going to replace their entire line of food yeah. with Variety. meatless, yeah. exactly, yeah. with meatless options. But they're going to provide that option mm -hmm. for maybe uh, vegans, vegetarians, or even just people who want to lower their footprint. When you consume meat, mm -hmm. one burger, I mean, it uses a ton of water. Mm -hmm. So water waste, yeah. the cows mm -hmm. and pigs, they, they cause quite a lot of pollution as well. So Beyond Meat and Possible Foods, there are other brands out there doing the same thing. They're really working hard to combat climate change and that's something mm -hmm. that is near and dear to my heart. So I'm kind of curious, is this mm -hmm. a new concept in China or... Imitation meat? Yeah. It's actually not new because we don't really have the concept of a burger which is introduced by Western culture. Yeah. But before that, we do have imitation meat primarily served in monastery. Um, and they are served as a transitional food for the practitioner who are new to the, the Buddhism. So when they Yeah, so when they're transitioning from um, not vegetarian to vegetarian, they will actually have imitation meat, like imitation fish fillet or imitation yeah. Uh, gongbao chi ding or whatever yeah. what have you. So it's actually not a new concept, okay. um, but it, it's especially popular with the Buddhist community. But beyond that, um, I would say it has very limited um, application actually in, in, in the modern dishes. If you just go into a random typical or traditional Chinese restaurant, it's very difficult for you to eat vegetarian almost. Well, <laughs> yeah. lucky for us today, mm -hmm. because I have prepared Two beyond burgers for us to try. The raw one? No, I cooked them. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm super excited. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Is this also your first time trying it? It is. Let's do it. Ooh, you actually cooked them. How did you how, how did you prepare it? Just cook it for four minutes on each side and it smells it smells really like a burger. Let me So smell. So you put cheese on it? No cheese. It doesn't smell like meat. <laughs> really? Okay, so one burger. Mm -hmm. I even got a little bit of char on it. Yeah. It doesn't look like one though. Yeah, it definitely looks like it a looks, burger. It looks like a burger. It's a, right. She's a thick burger. Hi, I'm a burger. <laughs> See? Oh, I'm excited. I haven't had a burger for a long time. Just that little piece. Mm. Wait, let me try. Let me try. Don't give your comments yet. I'm so nervous. Hmm. I would say like some ninety percent like a meat, like a meat patty. It's definitely more chewy. I think the taste itself, not the texture. The taste itself tastes really like meat, but the texture is it's still a little bit yet. chewy. Yeah. Honestly, I think like once you put the cheese, the ketchup, and the bun mm -hmm. on it, mm -hmm. I don't think you could really taste that it, it's a plant-based no, no. product. Mm -hmm. I like that. The saturated fat content is still quite high. Mm -hmm. However, because it is plant-based, mm -hmm. it is not as heavy as the meat. So do you like the burger? Mm -hmm. Would you eat this burger? Oh yeah, for sure. The cost is quite expensive mm -hmm. uh, compared to typical meat. Yeah. However, as someone who cares about the planet a lot, coming from someone who is not a vegan or a vegetarian, mm -hmm. I think just adding this to my meals, maybe twice a week, yeah. I can cut down my Carbon footprint, footprint yeah. quite substantially, right? Yeah. Consume meat, it's fine, mm -hmm. but also you know, challenge yourself to try new things, jump outside of the box, try to think about the planet.